I'm a little bit excited today because we have the insert checkbox <laughs> in Excel. I've done a lot of um, a habit tracker where I use a different method. And the method is just this grid type and you just put anything and then that gives the color, which I like, which I think is very um, visual in a way. So, but, but I thought I'll try these checkboxes. I just done a quick shot on this and I wanted to see if I could transform this uh, with checkboxes instead. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to save a copy of this and I'm just going to call it checkboxes. And then uh, let's see how we can uh, do this. So a checkbox, uh, you insert it uh, very easily just in case you don't know how it works. It's just insert checkbox here and I give you a checkbox. And the idea is this is the false value when it's not ticked and as soon as you tick it, it becomes true. Can you believe it? And there's no maybe. <laughs> it's either true or false. Okay, so, but what I had here was different. I was just uh, the input, inputting anything. And as soon as the system knows that you input something, um, and I think I was doing that uh, with the format cells, uh, format cells. No, I was doing it this way. So as soon as you input something, uh, there is a change, uh, the conditional formatting. Uh, that is uh, here, this is what I was doing. Yeah, as soon as there's something in a cell, it puts the corresponding color here of the three category habits. But I want to change this and I want to uh, put checkboxes instead. So the beauty of checkboxes is that you can actually uh, put them uh, across a range. So if I just do an in insert checkbox here, so here they are here. But the challenge that you have is that you still have uh, the conditional formatting and therefore the, <laughs> the box is here but it's hidden uh, due to my massive conditional formatting so i'm just going to go back here i'll go under uh, conditional formatting and instead of filling it i'm just going to change the font and actually the font should be enough let's have a look so here i have a fill here so what i'm going to do i'm going to under fill and i'm going to clear it now if i clear it uh, now you can see the check boxes Okay, so, and I just need to do this across the board. Okay, home, conditional formatting, and actual. So I'm just removing the field so you can see what's happening behind the, behind the scene. Clear, clear the field, but I keep the font. The font is still showing this. And the last one is the blue. Let's clear the field. Field, clear it. And you leave the font. And that should be much better. Okay, so I can uh, noticing that there is some cells here that uh, didn't come on board. That's because there is something in them, obviously. So as soon as I remove the, the content, then the checkbox takes back its uh, power. And which is interesting, actually, when you input something, you just put a blank here, makes it disappear. And after you clear it, it comes back. So now I need to center it. I'm just going to center all this center all this so the way i was doing it before is i was counting uh, the non-blank uh, because uh, everything that was non-blank here count as a, counted as an habit as a habit so i need to change this uh, actually i was using the countifs here and the uh, count non-blank uh, on the horizontal so the countif i cannot count how many uh, cells here is uh, not blank because uh, that is not the way a checkbox counts. What I need to do is to check how many have the value of true, as I've showed you before. So here that's a, a zero. Uh, here, I'm just going to drag it down. Actually, is that going to work? So I'm just going to put one, one. So it, it's working. So just going to copy that across. And after I'll show you. So just in case you didn't see the first video, which you absolutely should, obviously. Uh, here I'm counting how many of cells in this column is true. So that means it has been ticked. Uh, and I have a countif with an S because I'm checking something else. What else am I checking? Yes, I'm checking that there is something in this, uh, in this column here, which is the habit category. The habit category for health. So here I'm just counting how many of the health is a true so that's a zero for this one but if I check check one on the else that's another one so this is it so this is done so it's all uh, 
happening. Let's uh, go on the right hand side now. Here I was doing count A, but count A doesn't work anymore. I need to do the same thing. I need to do a count if of the same thing, the, the same uh, array that doesn't change. And here I'm just going to have to say true then. It's actually quite, uh, oh, it doesn't work. So I must have messed up something. Okay, obviously I put a six after, which, ah, okay, what have I done? Let's do a click here. The range is BQ6, okay. So we are live, guys. We are live. So here it seems to work. So we have a tick here. If I tick it here, one tick, one. So it works this. So you can see how uh, easy it, it is to uh, to convert uh, my old version into a ticked version. But is it better? Uh, I think this is a bit less visual, maybe. Um, although it's you no, know, it's uh, arguable uh, if it is or not. Uh, I just need to click one by one, obviously, so that that might not be something that you like as much as the old version. But I'm just going to leave it to you to decide if you if you want to build this, just go back and uh, do the first version. And after I go back to this, uh, that should do it. OK, so my system was a bit tired, so the, the charts were gone, but now they are back. So what do you say? Do you prefer this version or the other version? Uh, the big advantage, I suppose, is you, you can just use your mouse um, and uh, you don't have to use your keyboard. Ah, I am not sure uh, which one is the best, but uh, anyway, so I'll leave you with this and uh, just wanted to have a quick uh, demo on that one. So I'm just going to remove this.